Hello guys, this is Blue Fan 464 uploading a video right now. Right now. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, Blue's Clues month of celebrating 25th anniversary. I know I did. But I'm just going to upload this quick video that I recently discovered. On the handy dandy notebook website. In three, two, one. Yep, they they made an updated nighttime notebook from Blue's Big Pajama Party. So I actually, I'm just showing it on my phone. I actually have another image of comparing it to the uh, the two, these two. Now, this one, this one was not like how it was in the episode, because there was a yellow border, and the thinking chair was outlined with yellow. But uh, this one doesn't have... the yellow outline, the yellow border outline. And the thinking chair is just outlined with black, but there's a glow around it, so kind of never noticed that. But anyway, yeah, this is the notebook, the right, the right notebook that was used by uh, Steve, Kevin, and Duarte. However, the crayon is still blue striped because. Those three did not actually use that crayon. They used a green stripe crayon instead. So I know some of the people may already have to go right ahead and go try to get this. So that's interesting. Also, I have a. Uh, also, I have have two new Funko Pops and some some DVDs that I also tried to find. I'm gonna show them right now. This is the young young Gru from uh, Minions: Rise of Gru. We never actually had a Funko Pop of this character before, but now we do. So now I have both versions of Gru. This is a Gru Funko Pop right here. It's big when we two line up. Uh, so yeah, I have the uh, younger Gru with him as a kid as seen in Minions from 2015 and the new one, which will be really soon. And uh, the Funko Pop of Gru as an adult in all three Despicable Me movies. So, yeah. Uh, that's good. And this other Funko Pop I have is Cat Dog. Yes, you know that. It's a Funko Pop from, uh, it's a character from the, uh, but from the Nickelodeon animated series. From back in the back in the nineties, I believe. See, I never actually seen this before. And here's an interesting fact, it's made out of felt. Possibly because the cat dog are animals and they're furry and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, they're so yeah, it's the Funko Pop of Cat Dog from the Nickelodeon animated series about a, a cat and a dog. How attached to how attached to each other. And one thing I actually kind of liked about Cat Dog is well, their noses. 
Cats is red and oval, while uh, dogs is circular and blue to make it look like a ball. So that's interesting. However, dog's head kind of came off when I tried to turn it like this. Well, I can only do that for the cat dog, so I put super glue on it to uh, keep it on. I just got this for my birthday. So, yeah. And now, towards the DVDs. I have a 2003 DVD of Cat Dog, I, I mean, The Cat in the Hat by Mike Myers. The one with Mike Myers and uh, Alec Baldwin. I actually kind of like this movie, even though it was part of the era where Dr. Seuss went into live action in real life. Back in the 2000s. Anyway, here's the disc. And this is actually a reprint version with the disc being blue because the one originally had the fish on it, as you can see. So yeah. Oh, this next one I have is Finding Nemo. This I did not actually find online. I actually found it found it at a thrift store called Goodwill. But uh, it was fine. Back. But when I it it's a two disc DVD, but disc two is unfortunately all scratched up. That I couldn't really run it, so I threw it out. So yeah, I only have this one which contains the movie. But I don't mind it. It's it it's it's a good movie. Movie, even though there might be some stuff that could overwhelm me. But Anyway, here's the disc. And a bunch of inserts. And the business reply mail. Now, this I actually kind of like because, uh, well, this picture on the scene selection is the Tiki's in the aquarium at the dentist office scene. Where a Nemo meets Jock and all those other. Well. Jock and uh, Gills and all those other people. But yeah, the Tiki's are, this one's making its mouth like an O. This one has his mouth open wide and this one's just showing his teeth. So that's pretty cool. And I also have a new Blu-ray copy of Inside Out, and I'm holding it right here. And yeah, it's it's a version with Joy, and because you can see her uh, hanging upside down and smiling because of how happy she is, because that's just who she is. So yeah, it's all in a yellow background. I honestly did not think. That this would be a Blu-ray like this. But other than that, it's my favorite uh Pixar movie from 2015. Just like Monsters Inc. Because they both have the little girl crying and screaming sound effect. Like for uh Boo and uh and uh Riley at age three. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it contains. Here's a two disc. Here's the disc. Disc one, which has the feature. And disc two, which has some bonus stuff. And all of this is actually from another copy of uh, Inside Out, which, where it actually has a. Uh, Blu-ray, which is actually 3D Blu-ray stuff, but it came with this stuff, just 
cards and information about the character, about the five emotions that live in Riley's head. So there's joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. So yeah, like I said, it was from another one. And this is actually a different uh, version of stuff. So yeah. Well, I'll put this back in. I have a Funko Pop of a Sadness and Disgust in a collection of different Funko Pops that I have. So, yeah. And I think that's pretty much it.